While you were celebrating the return of Invader Zim, you might have missed the science of recycling clothes, the Starliner's emergency escape system, and this week's top stories. Welcome to In Case You Missed It, where we're anticipating the grand finale of NASA's Cassini probe, which will spend its final few months making 22 dives in between Saturn and its rings before burning up in the atmosphere. As Cassini becomes part of the planet itself. It's surprisingly difficult to recycle clothes, and I don't just mean selling them to a thrift shop or donating them, but rather recycling the fibers from your old shirt and turning them into a new one. But a team of researchers from Alta University have spent the past five years figuring out how to do exactly that. Since many fabrics today are made from polyester fiber blends, the team have developed a process called Ion Cell that uses an ionic solvent to dissolve the cellulose of the natural fibers while leaving the synthetic fibers intact. The goopified cell Cellulose is then extracted and reconstituted before being respun and woven into new cloth. The system isn't perfect yet. It can't handle synthetic weaves like spandex, for example. But with some tweaks, it could potentially recycle any sort of blobby material, even this guy. When Terra Nova LLC built the largest zipline in the world, they probably weren't thinking about spacecraft emergencies, because that would be a little weird. However, when Boeing and the United Launch Alliance were looking for an emergency egress system for the CST-100 Starliner, they found ziplines to be an unexpected solution. The companies worked together to modify a zipline which would enable astronauts to zip out of the top of the rocket should an emergency occur before the engines were lit. If an emergency were to occur after engines were already fired up, astronauts can use an eject system to parachute back to the ground. And now TLDR, where we do the week's reading for you. Apple vowed to relaunch its Mac Pro lineup next year. Kanye's Life of Pablo is the first streaming exclusive album to go platinum. Netflix replaced its star-based reading with a thumbs up, thumbs down. Amazon will begin refunding accidental purchases made by your kids. And Coachella announced that it will again live stream its opening weekend. <laughs>